It was my first morning in Elk Mountain, Wyoming. I came into town yesterday and was given land and $70,000. So beating yesterday probably wasn't in the cards. But building off of yesterday is something that needed to happen. All right, well, that was the money well spent. $7,000 on a truck and not that one. But we got one that will move some things on our land of that, of course, being the blue in here. It's an older model, that's for sure, but I don't really care about any of that. I just want to be able to move the trees and move things to our property when we get going. You know, I talked about wanting to get chickens, so possibly moving some bags of feed, big bulk bags of feed with this thing would be helpful. Maybe even get a tractor up on there, but let's get inside here. We'll fire this thing up. And we will slowly head on out to our property here. And let's make sure that we don't hit anything on the way. That would be a very expensive mistake. But all right, on the way back to the land. And we've got a lot of things to do in a short amount of time here, which is... To be honest, a little overwhelming for me at the moment, but I guess the overall mission here is to clean up the land that we just got. I know that mowing is going to be the first thing that we're going to need to do, but we don't even have a tractor. We have $63,000 left, and I know we'd be able to get something on lease here at the store. I'm just really not sure what. Uh, I know that we need a small tractor, uh, but it's got to be big enough to be able to fit a brush hog on the back of it because we're going to need to get a lot of this land cleared out and when I get back to the land we'll look online and we'll see if we can find anything I I got a cheap laptop a few months ago and man has it helped me out when you live off-grid it's a good idea to get as many things as you can to give you information and this laptop continues to be the best thing that I've paid for it's really gonna be beneficial when we start looking into what we can do to make money out here in Elk Mountain not really sure of the farms around here, but we can take a look at the area and kind of get a general idea. I do know that chickens are in our future because I've done chickens before. I do know how to do the egg layers, so that will help us out. I would also really like to get into the broilers or the meat chickens. would really like to sell meat chickens as well because I think that that is something that we can do. I know that we don't have enough money or room, really, to start a cow operation. That is that is something that is well beyond our years. We, we are going to need a lot of time to build up to that. Pigs are possible, and sheep are possible, but I think with the grass that we have on our new land, I don't know if sheep, or cows for that matter, are really the best thing to do. Now, we're getting closer down here to the land, and as I said, I'm going to grab the laptop we're gonna look at one of the places around here that I do know rents equipment I know they rent anything from small to big sized equipment because I've seen their yard and I've actually seen uh, one of the pamphlets hanging around here I think it was in the real estate office that I checked that out but as you can see our land is very remote and I love that and I don't like that at the same time it's gonna be very expensive to get some things out here delivered so most likely we are going to have to pick it up ourselves and that's a big reason why we got this truck but we're going to continue on we are getting pretty close here to our land it turns out that we picked a great place to live elk mountain in carbon county wyoming it's about 25 miles west of Laramie where the state university is and as you can see it's known for its natural beauty and man did it offer a ton of that hunting fishing camping you name it if it's in the outdoors this place probably had it and it was a town with a real western charm type feel from what i could tell and the people here have been really nice so far the town's industry was focused around agricultural and ranching these were country folk and i was more than willing to try to fit in the best way that i could
All right, now, getting close down here to the land should be just down this hill here. And like I said, I'm going to clean up real quick, and I will get the laptop out and look at this place that I think might be able to rent us both a tractor and a brush hog. And as you can see, we're going to need it. That's for sure. Nobody's ever farmed this land. I can almost be safe to, to say that. I've walked around here. I don't see any fence posts from any old farms. I don't see a milk house or anything like that. So it's safe to say that this land has been vacant until now. Either way, let me get cleaned up and we will get the laptop out. Okay, guys, and we've got the laptop out. And I noticed when I was at the real estate office that Clearwater Motors uh, also did renting. And we are now at their website. We're going to check this out. Uh, yep, we rent that. Well, that's a great slogan for what we're looking for hopefully a great sign of things to come but welcome to clearwater motors elk mountains place to rent we have everything from small home project equipment to larger industrial and farm agricultural equipment available good 21 days at a time okay as well as lease to own options okay yep there's the place and small jobs for residential projects smaller farms or large scale farms I'm going to go on medium jobs and see what happens. Contact us with questions. Okay, looks like we got a plow and it looks like we've got a combo. Mower brush hog combo. $500 a day for a John Deere 710. A John Deere 710 tractor and a Sep Knusel F240. I know I pronounced that wrong. The JD710 tractor is reliable and versatile agricultural workhorse. Dirty construction, wide range of farming tasks. And then the mower, okay, $500 a day. I think that we could probably get that done in a day, I'm hoping. If not, we could pay the $1,000 for the two days, but I would really, really enjoy not doing that so maybe we are going to see if we can go over there and rent this today or we'll see if we can rent it for tomorrow that way we can get a very early start on the day i think that's probably going to be a better deal but first we got to get over there so let's get it back in the truck and this is why we got this truck because i do not want to be driving this uh camper around town i do not want to be known as the camper guy in town so we do have at least a truck. We're going to get over there and we're going to see what kind of deal they can give us over at Clearwater Motors. I headed over to Clearwater Motors and the drive there was scenic to say the least. It was still before noon and we still had the whole afternoon to work, so I was hoping that they'd have a half day deal or something like that to save us some money. And I knew this adventure would be expensive, so I was trying to save any money I could. But as the saying goes, it takes money to make it, and we were certainly going to put that to the test. I was curious to see what the land would look like, all mowed up and tended to. I think once we see what the land really looks like, we can start to think of how we're going to make money here. The one thing I was sure of is we were staying here. I was tired of running, and I liked that this was Coop's land. I didn't want to hang on to too much from the past, but Cooper's friendship was always one of them. This land was like me doing something for him finally, after all the things that he's done for me. I was going to make something out of this land, even if I had no idea how to yet. And now I'll just walk in here and see if they have what we need. Hey there, sir. Name's Rick. Welcome to Clearwater Motors. How can I help you today? Well, I was looking on your website and I found the Brush Hog Tractor Combo. And I was just wondering if you rented those by the half day. Usually our rentals last 24 hours, so you need to have it back by this time tomorrow. Do you have a small job you're doing? Well, I just got some land in town and it's in rough shape. I'm not going to lie, but... I'd like to brush hog it down and see what it really looks like, you know? I just don't know how long it's going to take me. Well, how many acres do you got? 
it says it's about 35 acres, but I believe that that's some of the hill. So I'm guessing somewhere around 15 to 20. All right, well, you'll probably need our full 24 hour rental, but since you're missing the morning to work, why don't you have it back to us tomorrow before we close? Great, yeah, that would be amazing. Um, that should give me more than enough time to mow it, and obviously if I get done sooner, I'll just bring it back. Uh, do I just pick it up here, or...? No, we'll deliver it. Just write your address down with me, and we'll have it up there in about an hour. Well, thank you so much, and, uh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name? Rick, and I don't think I got yours. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the name's Herd. Well, have a good one, Herd. Yeah, you too, Rick. All right, now getting back to the land, we just got some lunch real quick downtown at the diner, so we are just going to wait on the track on the tractor, and it looks like they've already brought it. So we've got the John Deere here, and we've got the mower. That's impressive. That's very fast that they acted, but we are going to park this over here as close as we can. And now here is the John Deere and the Brush Hog. And we've got a lot of work to do. And I'm glad that it is only the afternoon, early afternoon at that. So we will have a little bit more time to get all of this done. But let's start this up. And wow. I haven't been on a tractor in a couple of years. Actually, the last time now that I think about it that I was on a tractor was over at Cooper's. And now, fittingly, the next time that I get on a tractor is over at Cooper's Old Land. And, you know, this is always going to be Cooper's Land in my mind, but we are going to clean it up. And I'm really interested to see just what this place looks like after we get all of this brush and all of this grass all mowed up. I think we can really start telling what a property looks like once we do all of that. And this, as you can see, has not been maintained in quite a while. So... I'm interested to see how much land we've got. I'm interested to see what shape the land is in. And the only way to do that really is to drive through it and start farming it. Now, we're not able to farm it, so to speak, because we don't have any plows. And I'm not even sure if we're going to get into all that. But at least our version of farming at this point is really just driving this tractor around and just kind of getting back used to driving a tractor. So... That is what we are going to do here, and I'm hoping that the sun will stay up in the sky because we really need the light. We have no light out here, obviously. We barely have uh, a place to live. There's no running water out here, and we are roughing it, so to speak. But, you know, for us, that's just a normal, average day. At least the cops aren't going to come. At least no one is going to tell us to leave because they can't. This is our land. Now, let's start treating it like that, and let's start getting all of this stuff mowed down. At the end of the day, I was happy. Then again, what else could I ask for? I arrived in a random town, got handed a life-changing amount of money, and was granted land from an old friend. I was surprised at how much land we had, but I was even more surprised at the shape it was in. There were no sinkholes, there were no random junkyards made by random people that passed by, none of that. It was all just great Elk Mountain land, and it was a ton of opportunity, my opportunity, to make something of myself. 